Welcome back to Brickitect, where we work and play with Lego every day. This entry has us completing one project and getting organized from that, but then starting a newer, much bigger project that I'm very excited to see play out, and I think you will be too. So I hope you enjoy. Ended up getting all of this sorted out, and now it just has to go into the appropriate drawers, and that's the end of the Fab Five Loft. My favorite things to come out of this, of course, are these masonry bricks, and I love these printed tiles. <laughs> While I'm on the grind over there, Clark Man, he continues making cool stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, this Lego set, it was partially complete, which I turned to my own thing. We got extra pieces, as is expected. We got lots of um, roof pieces still. Ooh, can we sort those and put them in the collection? Yes. I do like your little cabin here. Oh, I, I can I scrunch? Yeah, scrunch is... Oh, gosh. Something just fell off. Wait, what is going on here? Why can't I scrunch that? That's because it's built so terribly. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm trying to scrunch. Oh, I can't. Can't scrunch it, Clark. This is what's inside. If you want to see it from the back, you can just spin around, and then you can try to look through there. You can see, you can see in there, guys. How do you play in there? Well, uh... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I this is, I took something off. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> this is why you gotta have like a door that opens in the back, or have it like partially open. Just found a perfect place for this in Clarkman City. His city is called Tornado Alley. Thor. <laughs> 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 break, break a tech video. The Thor hammer. We saved two hundred dollars on this set. The new of the year. Who needs to spend money on Lego sets when you can make your own? <laughs> I think we should do a drop test on this. Why? No. No. <gasps> Don't tell him about my secret project that I'm working on over here. This is the worst part. The very end with the studs. Sort life. In this parting out process, I learned that the real cost of buying Lego is not only the cost you pay for it, but also the time that it takes to part it out, which I am now done with. Got everything all put away, and now I'm ready for my next project. And this is the moment where I realized that I am filming on my phone still. I should be using my good camera, but I was doing a time lapse for a members video. I just kept using it, so I'm still using it. And maybe you never notice or don't care. That's probably like everyone. On that note, let's go into the storage room of doom and pull our next project out of here. Who's looking at us right now? That's right, my friends. The, no, it's not the wreath. We're not doing the wreath. We're gonna get Darth Vader out of here, but not just one Darth Vader. Oh, old school. Anybody remember this? I mean to put this back on the wall. Not only one Darth Vader, not two Darth Vaders, but, Oh God, three Darth Vaders because I am, and Clark is, we're gonna do this together. We're gonna make the big boy Darth Vader set. I don't know if there's a picture of it here, but I'll find one for you so you can you can see what it looks like. Here we're on Lego's website, and obviously you can make a few different Sith art out of this. You can do Darth Maul, which I love that one, and I'm really tempted to do that one, but if we keep scrolling down here, you can do that one, of course, too. But if we keep scrolling beyond that, this is the one that I want to make. The big boy, Darth Vader. It looks menacing, it looks amazing, and I know the perfect place for it, assuming I can put it on a door. I shoot my podcast here, and that becomes my background. So, assuming that I can find a good way to put that onto that door, that would look really amazing there. Replace missing pieces, since it doesn't really exist anymore. Although it does a little bit, Greg's World Podcast. Look it up on your favorite podcasting directory. But it's gonna take three of these to do this. I got these on a deal, I think before Christmas last year, there's a three that you can make. Once again, you do Carl Wren too, as he's known in some circles. But uh, I think of all these, like I, I do love that one, but I love that Darth Vader so much. For now, we'll just open up one of these just to get us started. See what things look like inside here. Here's the manual. I think I'm going to have to probably find an online manual for the big guy. Oh yeah, you gotta scan the QR code, which if you wanna do, you can do that, and uh, that's how we'll have to do it. So it's gonna be a digital thing, which kind of sucks, but Clark and I each have iPads, so we can totally pull that off. Here's all of the pieces from this. 
inside here as well. No punch tabs. Thank you, Lego Art. Yes, so there's nine of these in here and nine more in each of the other. So we have to do 27 panels to build that, which is, it's gonna take a lot, but we've got a system, we've got a plan and I've got a helper man to help me get this done. Look who appears out of the shadows when he finds out we're doing Lego art. The system I used last time was taking all of these little cups and then inside these cups, you put all of those studs and then it makes it a lot easier to go through this. This of course is gonna be his lightsaber working our way across it seems from the top left. It kind of looks like a Lego logo almost like they were doing over there a little bit. Yeah, that's probably what we could have turned this into if we just kept making a whole bunch of lightsaber pieces. Last one. Boom. That's a piece of mosaic. That's cool. You can't really tell what it is just by looking at it, but if you know the bigger picture, you can tell what we're working on. We only have to do that 26 more times and we're done with this. To be continued tomorrow. <laughs> Gulp. I like your gulps. That was pretty good. So that is a wrap on this entry. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on our journey and starting a much bigger Lego art piece than we've ever done before. I'm very excited to see how Darth Vader turns out, especially if I can put it up on the door, if that's even possible, or we have to call an audible and put it somewhere else down here. Either way, it's going to be fun building that up with Clark Mann and seeing it fully completed. It's a nice project to start and then something that I can work on a little bit as we proceed here in the studio, along with a lot of other stuff that I either have to do cleaning or uh, want to do building. So stay tuned for more stuff coming up here. Thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to support this channel financially, you can become a member and get some behind the scenes secret stuff if you're into that type of stuff, or you can just continue watching for free. I appreciate you either way, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.